one thing I was thinking that many people, especially the younger, the more, is that the communication is instant. I mean, uh, con almost continuous, the communication. I, mean, I know many younger people, you know, family, they do think I don't do. For instance, you know, they're having meal, they take a picture of their meal and they instant send an Instagram to their friend. Here's what I'm eating. And the other person responds, well, this is what I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and it's like, it's all a continuous coming, a sharing of one's life with, you know, with you. And I haven't done that. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> and, and le unless one of those days I am having really some unusual meal that is maybe I want somebody to know about it. but I don't necessarily feel I have to send it right right away I might take a picture of it maybe later but there's this instant like a continual communication which makes me wonder what's happening inside the people who are doing that many young people might not even know there's a, there, that you can actually sense your arms and leg, feel what's it like inside, besides sending, texting, sending Instagram, not know what else, what are they besides that? I, I would like the devices to develop so that a person can send me a picture of what's happening inside their <laughs> consciousness, yeah. in that, their body. That would be interesting yeah. for me. I don't know if I care how much about what they're eating. <laughs> 